best stories in sports. This is an E60 feature presentation. This is Matt Caesar, a top prospect in the Chicago Cubs farm system. At 24, his journey to professional baseball is just like countless other minor leaguers, except for one dramatic difference. Along the way, something improbable happened that connected Matt to a stranger on the other side of the planet. To be able to make a difference in not only your life, someone else's life, I honestly think that if anybody else was put in my shoes, that they would have done the same thing. There's more life than just baseball. Push your pedals, Matt. Push. Push. From his earliest days growing up in Cape May, New Jersey, it was clear that Matt was going to be a star athlete. He just gave 150% in everything he did, and everybody wanted him on their team. to be the best, no matter what he was doing. He doesn't play to be good. He's got to be the best. By high school, Caesar was captain of the football team and a star in baseball. His senior year, he batted 681, and Major League scouts took notice. Yeah! But nearby Villanova University, outside of Philadelphia, offered him a scholarship and a chance to play both baseball and football. He arrived on campus in the fall of 2007. <laughs> we call him Superman. He can run the ball. He can throw the ball. He has great hands. He's a small town guy, small town values. Those values led Matt Caesar to this in the spring of his freshman year a donation drive run by head football coach Andy Talley for Be The Match, the National Bone Marrow Registry. When you first signed up, what did it mean to you? To be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't think I would get called. I mean, it's a 1 in 80,000 chance. It's like a couple cheek swabs, and then you're done. And I didn't think anything after that. 5,000 miles away near the industrial city of Donetsk in Ukraine, Ivan and Marina Olkovsky, a truck driver and an accountant, respectively, celebrated the arrival of their first child, Anastasia. But three months after she was born, Anastasia developed a dangerously high fever and was rushed to the hospital. Казалось, что просто отчаяние уже никогда не выберемся. Я сама больше боялась, вот, мне кажется, даже ночью боялась спать, что просто она закроет глаза и не откроет их. After four weeks of repeated doctor's visits, Anastasia was diagnosed with leukemia, cancer of the blood cells and bone marrow. Врачи сказали, что нужна пересадка, но так как в Украине это не делается, говорят, что смиритесь. Они сказали, что мы родили другого ребенка, этого оставили. Ой, я прошу прощения. Desperate but determined, Anastasia's parents found a clinic in Israel that could provide a life-saving bone marrow transplant if they could find a matching donor. Плюс ко всему у нас несколько раз переносилась пересадка. It was the fall of 2009, Caesar's junior season at Villanova. He was on his way to being named the conference offensive player of the year. He was leading the Wildcats into the playoffs when he received an unexpected phone call. It was a representative from the National Bone Marrow Registry. She said you're a match for bone marrow. I was just like, are you serious? She was like, yeah. I was like, that's, all, that's awesome. She, and she asked me if I would do it, and I was like, of course I'll do it. And I said, just let me know what I have to do. What Caesar would need to do is take the powerful drug Nupogen, 
which increases the number of blood stem cells in the bloodstream in preparation for the transplant. It would also enlarge his spleen and put him at risk of a rupture. Once he started taking the drug, he would be out of sports indefinitely. The timing of the donation would depend on the recipient's condition. As the Wildcats marched through the playoffs, 62 yards, and we've got a ball game. Caesar knew another phone call could end his season. All right, let's go. December 18, 2009, the FCS National Championship game. This is Caesar. He's got the ball. Caesar, what kind of speed do you have, young fella? Caesar's got it. Caesar, left side. Caesar had 270 total yards, two touchdowns, and was named the game's most outstanding player. Two months later, the call still had not come. Baseball season kicked off, and through late April 2010, Caesar was one of the top hitters in the Big East Conference. It was a vital part in our season. It was the end of the season where all the scouts get their last looks in and make sure you're all right. The Major League Draft was just one month away. That's when the call finally came. The recipient's condition had worsened. The transplant needed to happen without delay. On May 4th, Caesar and his parents were at Hahnemann University Hospital in Philadelphia. I was tossing and turning last night when I was sleeping. Just I didn't know what was going to happen, so I was a little nervous. During a three-hour procedure, Matt Caesar's healthy bone marrow was removed. So what did they tell you about the recipient? They told me that it was a, it was a baby girl, and, and that's it. That's all I knew. Strict confidentiality policies keep the recipient and donor anonymous for at least one year after the procedure. Across the ocean, Anastasia's parents finally got the news they'd been praying for. По всему миру нашелся человек, который подошел на сто процентов, как родной брат близнец. May 5th, 2010, just hours after it was removed from Matt Caesar, the healthy bone marrow was injected into Anastasia Okovskaya. Even with the transplant, her chances of survival were still only 60 percent. Держу на руках и понимаю, что она сейчас уже не живая, не мертвая. Less than three weeks after donating his bone marrow, Matt Caesar was clear to return to baseball. My body just felt terrible. My bones were, were, would hurt, and you know, I, I felt like every move I made, I felt like I would you know, tear a muscle. I was just that weak. Back in the batter's box. First inning, first at bat. And I, and I hit a home run. And when I got back in the dugout, the kids were just like, are you, are you serious right now? Caesar finished the regular season leading the Big East in batting average. On June 8th, he was drafted by the Chicago Cubs in the fifth round. All the while, the identity and fate of the little girl was still unknown to him. At what point during the course of your everyday life do you stop and you just think about her? I do it a lot if I'm having a bad day or, if, you know, if I'm down in the dumps, I think about how, how good my life is compared to, you know, somebody who's, who's fighting every day to survive. On November 19th, 2011, more than one year after the donation, Caesar finally received the news he'd been waiting for. Her first name is, I think it might be, what is that, Anastasia? Anastasia. Anastasia, she's from... Ukraine. Wow. I wish I could read the last name. Like, should I even give it a try? I guess it would be like someone trying to pronounce our last name. <laughs> this is Anastasia. She's now four years old and is in remission. She likes playing in the sandbox with friends, monkey bars, and kitty cats. Caesar exchanged emails with Anastasia's parents using Google Translate, 
five months later, with the help of a real translator, he was able to speak to the family via Skype. Hi, Matt. Здравствуйте. Here are all the family. I'm Olga. They will speak Russian, and I will translate. Okay? Очень рада вас видеть. Очень рада вообще увидеть вообще этого человека. Я хочу сказать, что он для нас не чужой человек. Он для нас. Хотел сказать, Мэтт, спасибо вам большое. Вы спасли жизнь нашего ребенка. Вы очень хороший человек. Мы не знаем просто, как вас еще можно Частичку своей жизни вдохнул нашего ребенка. И доктора этому помогли. И сам Господь Бог. Она бы просто умерла уже к этому времени. Привет! С добрым утром! And that's the improbable journey of Matt Caesar and Anastasia Okovskaya. Two people on opposite sides of the world, now and forever, connected. You can only do so much in baseball. You can only hit the ball so far, throw the ball so hard. To be able to make a difference in not only your life, someone else's life, and their family, you know, is, is huge. And I feel like that's my greatest accomplishment so far.